Wakefield in possession, it's bringing it right. Thompson, prop forward for Wakefield in possession. <coughs> Conway, change of direction onto this uh, fresh man, Hopkinson, coming down the blind side. Conway again, back to half back. Taking it left for Wakefield. Thompson onto Lyons, crossfield. Finally brought down Brett Clark and Paul Farber bundling to ground. Rosal Rutherford comes up, but the ball's kicked deep. Downfield by the Wakefield player, Barry Ledger fields. Should outpace this fella, no problem. Side steps in, shrugs out a one tackle, still going forward, Barry Ledger. Just brought down over his own 25 with Graham that trot again. Sakes bringing it left onto Pat Jarvis, turned round to release the ball in the tattle, but uh, the Wakefield tattler's up to him, bundle him down. And again, Saints still on the attack, onto Paul Round, feeds onto Sean Allen. Saints approaching uh, the halfway line. With Graham Littrott taking it blindside, characteristically, onto Steve Bayliss, up that right-hand wing. Very strong lad, this Steve Bayliss. But uh, Saints being penalised there for uh, hold, obviously holding the Wakefield player back in his attempt to tattle the Saints man. So penalty kick for Wakefield to be taken by Mick Parrish. Gains about 20 yards there. So Saints just uh, temporarily. Pegged down the road, 25. Wakefield in possession. Thompson with the ball. Pat Jarvis and Paul Farber bundle him down. Wakefield again. Fresh man here. Hopkinson trying to drive through. Saints defence well up to him. Paul Farber in again. With Paul round, bundle him down. Wakefield now spreading it right. Over to Lyons. Short ball onto Parrish, I think that is. Lions again, lively standoff onto Thompson. Reverse pass inside to uh, Douglas. Onto number 12, Kelly. So Wakefield uh, looking a little bit more lively now. Onto Stanton. Taking it left again, Lions. Crossfield kick into open space there. Phil Vivas over there to cover it, but the ball goes dead. So it's a 25 yard tap out for Saints. Graham Lip trots quickly. Feeds on to Kevin McCormick. Comes up uh, strong. On the burst. It's a Pat Jarvis now. Tries to release the ball, but uh, the Wakefield uh, tattlers clamp his grip. Saints again. Bringing it left. Field house. Good pass on to Paul Lachlan. Out paces one. Shrugs one off. Tries to feed inside. Well, second tattling again there. Number 12. Uh, Kelly in, the man was on the ground and uh, Kelly comes in, the line runs right with him but uh, nothing's done again well there must be offside there. must have been a hint of offside number 11, can he touch down no yes, he finally touches down he kicked through there off the off, definitely offside uh, Wakefield but uh, the referee lets play on so number 11, Douglas gets Wakefield's first points, touches down just to the right of the post after 27 minutes of the second half Well, a little unlucky there from Saint's point of view. From the play of the ball, Wakefield well up, offside, but the ball being charged down by Douglas. He kicked forward, uh, managed to follow his kick up after a little bit of a scamper over the line and uh, gets Wakefield's first points on the board. Mick Parrish trying to convert this try. Slots it right between the sticks, so six points to Wakefield, 30 points to Saints. 28 minutes gone of this second half. Well, this is a rare occasion now, Neil Olding kicking off after a Wakefield score. But uh, away we go, kicks along the ground. Knock on, straight from the play of the ball, as Saints player gathered that ball. 
No, oh, Barry Ledger was in there like a shot. But uh, the way for your man knocks on, Barry Ledger just couldn't get that uh, loose ball, but was coming down. 20 yards, 25 yards from Whitfield try line. Saints win the scrum. Phil Vivers in the line. Dummies inside to Paul Lachlan. Still going Phil Vivers. Cross field run. Still making yardage. Kevin McCormick. The acting half back position here now. Taking it right to Paul Lachlan. Inside to Paul Round. Turns round Paul Round. Still stood up. Brett Clark there waiting for the ball, but uh, Paul Round just couldn't release it. Brett Clark takes the acting half back position. Takes it right over to Sean Allen, on to Neil Alden. Loop movement with Sean Allen, beats one, goes through, feeds on to Pat Jarvis, who in turn feeds on to John Fieldhouse, and again on to Paul Farber, over to Steve Bayliss. Is he over in the corner? No, just short. On to Barry Ledger, coming cross field again, quick hands. Awkward bounce there, and the Wakefield player comes up with the ball. <coughs> A quick play of the ball there. Bell comes away, gains a valuable five yards for Wakefield, but they just got out of their own 25. Lions takes the acting half back position onto Conway. It's lively little hooker today for Wakefield. Conway again takes the acting half back roll. Wakefield down now, tattled and brought down. Still in their own half. Kicks through. Barry Ledger takes the ball, still in his own half. Bobbing and weaving, siding through Barry Ledger. A good 25-yard run there from Barry Ledger. Saints three-quarter line looking very lively today. Crossfield, onto John Fieldhouse. He straightens up. Brett Clack now receives the ball. Onto Paul Round. Pushes one off. Passes back. Phil Beaver scoops up. Just loses his footing for a minute. Paul Lachlan in support with him. With the ball now. Sitz gets the ball out onto Graham Littrot. Onto Barry Ledger in midfield. Coming through Barry Ledger. Loses the boot in the process. Paul Farber out to Steve Bailey. It's a long ball there, but uh, just couldn't gather that ball. Looking very lively now, Saints, uh, throwing this ball about, plenty of this ball being thrown about. The ball goes into touch on the 25 in the Wakefield half. So it's coming down right on the 25-yard line with uh, Bell to feed. <laughs> when we can finally get it packed to the referee's liking. Finally taking them over a few yards. Over to the right. No, he's not happy with that at all. He's getting, asking him to get up. Obviously going to give him a lecture. Well, he's been the last Saints. He's, uh, I don't know what that's for. They make their own rules sometimes. But uh, anyway, from the resulting penalty, Mick Parrish kicks for touch in the valuable 20 or 30 yards with the aid of this uh, wind on to Hopkinson replacement forward for Wakefield coming from deep on the burst so Wakefield inside Saints half now bringing the ball to the right over to Thompson I think in possession Paul Round bundles him down but strong customer this Paul Round hasn't played for the last couple of games but uh, not in the first team anyway I believe he played in the A team the other night and Wakefield still in possession. Coming cross field over to this right hand wing for Wakefield. Stanton kicks it back. And the ball, fine touch, yes. A rather curling ball, just finds touch a couple of yards from Saints try line. So we're scrumming down, it's going to be a five yard scrum. Eight minutes of this game remaining, and Saints in a commanding 30 points to six lead. <coughs> Neil Olin to feed. Ball goes with the feed, comes out Saints. Quick, quick hands there, on to Brett Clark. Going cross field. 
brought down just short of the 25 out to Sean Allen takes the ball across for you, straightens up Brett Clark again now assuming the acting half-back position feeds onto Pat Jarvis coming up with a full head of steam but uh, Wakefield Tattlers went in bundle him down Saints taking it right onto Paul Farber making ground at every attack uh, these Saints today Wakefield uh, line up uh, well offside there but uh, referee Ken Drew not spotting that Neil Olin feeds the ball back Knock on ruled by referee Kendry. <laughs> Bell to feed the scrum midway between the halfway and 25 in Saints half. Ball coming out Saints side. Neil Olin following in for there, but uh, well, that ball was coming out Saints side, but. Uh, the referee doesn't like the result and he's ordering the scrum to be taken again and uh, directly penalises Saints again for an offence at the scrum. Loose arm, uh, he indicates this time. So Parrish with the resulting penalty kick gains another 10 yards. Saints pegged down just inside their own 25. Conway, Hooker for Wakefield. Feeds on, John Field house well in there. Bundles the uh, Wakefield attacker down. Plan move here, who's got it in the end? Hopkinson, fresh man, comes up strong. Wakefield spreading it right. Saints defence quickly on them, bundle them down. Snuff out the uh, attack, but Wakefield again. Moving right, Thompson on to Rotherforth, coming through. No action over there on the left, so he's come midfield. Stanton acting half back for Wakefield. Takes it left onto Douglas, the try scorer, the sole try scorer, onto number 11, Sheldon. Releases the ball to Hopkinson. Well, that was a, that was a forward pass there. The ball in front of him. But Wakefield still on the attack. He kicks downfield. The chase is on. Phil Beavers does the safest thing. Kicks dead. Obviously, it's going to be an awkward bounce of the ball there, so it's a line dropout for Saints. <coughs> they've been looking a bit more lively towards the dying minutes of this game just about four or five minutes remaining as Neil Holden drops out from between the posts Sheldon picks up for Wakefield goes cross field and it's tattled right on the Saints 25 yard line Rutherford in centre now takes the acting half-back position Feeds on, and Wakefield not uh, making much impression on this Saints defence. Bell, back to half back, cross field, over to Sheldon, over to number four, uh, I beg your pardon, number three, Stanton. And Wakefield now spreading it right, straightened up by Sheldon, loose forward for Wakefield, the ball goes to ground, I think it's finally. No, I thought Saints had got the ball, but uh, the referee judging that it had touched a Saints player and uh, Wakefield got another six tattles. Conway, lively little hooker there for Wakefield. Finally brought down by Graham Littrott and Pat Jarvis. Wakefield man going on his own from the play of the ball. Trying to penetrate this uh, Saints defence. Wakefield looking live, now bringing it crossfield over to Douglas again. Lyons acting half back, trying to go on his own. Heads for the line, jumped down short, and it's the last tattle now. And Saints penalised again for attempting to snatch the ball out of the player's hands when allegedly tattled. So, a quick tap penalty. So, we're another six tattles now. This is 18 in all. We're going to be if they complete the full six inside uh, Saints 25. Wakefield again, taking it to the left. Hopkinson. Come way again. And Wakefield bringing it right. Quick, quick cans there. Brett Clark, very unlucky there. Well, he's going to wave him off again, isn't he? 
Yes, there he does, waves him off again, but at least we've pegged him back this time. On to Bell. For the way through, John Fieldhouse with the Paul Round and Brett Clark in at the tattle, bundle him down. Stop his gallop. Wakefield looking lively, bringing it right. Douglas again in possession. Parrish taking the acting half back roll for Wakefield, coming blindside onto Shelton. Over to number two, Jowett. Not seen much of the ball this half, this Jowett. Thompson now for Wakefield. Onto Sheldon. Douglas, crossfield now. Luca, well taken by Brett Clark there. Well, an outrageous pass there uh, in Wakefield uh, from Conway. But uh, Brett Clark quickly there to scoop it up. Saints in possession now. Paul Round with the ball. The ball goes to ground. Wakefield come up with the ball. The Wakefield on the attack now. 25 yards from Saints' try line. On to Hopkinson. Good solid tattle there. Steve Bailey spundle him down. Wakefield again, bringing it right. Klein in possession. That's the third tattle now of this uh, set of six. With Wakefield looking to get further points on the board. It's a Conway, crossfield to Sheldon, inside pass to Douglas. Sheldon again. Obviously, plan move, crossfield. No, touching goal. The ball, the ball there. Uh, Wakefield player there, vigorously complaining to the linesman that he actually touched down. Phil V was not the ball down, and it finally went to touching goal. So it's uh, 25. Uh, I beg your pardon again. A line dropout for Saints. Neil Holding uh, going to kick out from between his own sticks. All on full time now here at Bellevue. And 30 points to six. Saints in the lead. Well, plan moved there from Neil Holding onto Valley Ledger. Brilliant play there, but the ball goes down. Loose ball. Finally scooped up by Wakefield. Sean Allen in at the tattle there with Neil Holding. But Wakefield in possession. They've had uh, a lot of possession in this last five, ten minutes. Down at Saints end, but have uh, been unable to capitalise. Another penalty there, it's been all uh, penalties to Wakefield uh, this half. So Wakefield on the attack again. As I say, all on full time. Conway, Hooker, pass it on to Thompson. Wakefield taking it crossfield. Sheldon straightens up, elects to go for the line, but uh, he's bundled down by Paul Round and Paul Farber. And Wakefield again, taking it left, change of direction, over to the right. Still, still with the ball. Ball goes down, loose ball. Saints in possession now. Must be Saints ball after that little uh, bit of a rack out on the floor there. Fat Jarvis. Out to Graham Liptrot. And there's the final hooter. 